Hey you guys, so I'm here with another quick unboxing and this is from Alakay Naturals. Nine times out of ten you've heard of this brand if you use black hair care, skincare products. Um, the owner is Jamaican, um, so yeah, it's a black owned um, skincare and hair care company. Um, I tuned into the owner's live. Um, maybe like a couple weeks ago on Instagram and she was um showing some of her favorite products for summer and um of course I just um so before then I'd only try the lemongrass leave-in conditioner and I wasn't crazy about it because I tend to like um very thick hair products for conditioning and even shampoo I just like really thick hair products um and the consistency was a little thin for me but I watched her live, and um, I really liked some of the products as she was demonstrating them. And um, so I went back to her website and ordered um, a bunch of travel size, sample size items to try. And I'm going to do the um, the leave-in conditioner again. I was hoping that they had like a different, um, I don't know, a dip different option for leave-in. But um, I went with the lemongrass again, and I'm going to try it this time as part of a whole hair care system from them. And I've got some skincare items as well. So let's see what I got. So these all came individually bubble wrapped. I um, cut the bubble wrap off just in the interest of saving time. Um, and um, getting to the products much faster. So... Uh, so this is just some info kind of advertising her line and that's the company owner guys um but this is a little brochure so these are all like from the lemongrass line it's her again Rochelle that's her name And she was super down to earth um, during the the live. Um, so she took time out to answer questions from people, and it was a really nice time, a really nice vibe. She was going live from the pool um, outside her house, which is just gorgeous. Um, uh, oh yay! I got a coupon code. I guess it saves twenty percent. Oh, fifteen percent. Okay. Um, nice. So, okay. Um, this is the first product. So, the the Brown Sugar Baby Body Scrub. I love a good scrub, especially since my skin has been a little bit drier. Um, largely my fault. I'm really working on my water intake. But, um, just the way she described the smell and the ingredients. Um, brown sugar... Shea butter, jojoba oil, coconut, avocado, love avocado oil. It's got that thick, rich, you know, in general, I like high fat things. Like I'll, I'll always do whole milk, um, whole fat cheese. Although sometimes I'll do partially skim cheese. Um, but I, I don't believe in cutting the corners when it comes to things like dairy products and coconut oil, um, healthy fats, um, Trans fats, I'm not really into. I don't really struggle with eating those so much. Um, but I love a good whole thick oil product like avocado. Um, also vitamin E, veggie glycerin. I'm big on glycerin. Um, so, a t so as just like a quick tip, I add a little bit of um, glycerin to my face facial moisturizer during the winter. And to me, it, like, it gives it a good moisture boost. It lasts longer, protects your skin better, and it just supercharges your products. Um, same with hair. Veggie glycerin is also good for um, maintaining the moisture in your hair. Uh, olive oil and then botanical blend. So, give me a second. So, um, her products come sealed which is awesome. I was going to open this up and let you check out the texture. I could kind of smell it and it smells very like vanilla-y, sugary. 
but we can see the texture here. It's um, a brown sugar scrub and very much looks like that. So this is right on time because the scrub I had been using, I really love the scrub by Way, um, O-U-A-I. And the smell of that scrub just makes me feel luxurious. Like I feel like money um, when I, oh no, money's dirty. I feel like um, I have a money tree in the backyard when I use that scrub. It's the one that can be used on your hair and your skin. Um, I am kind of running low or I'll soon be running low on that one. So this is right on time and I look forward to using it. You know, I love my natural ingredients. So, and that, the smell of that brown sugar scrub just, I don't know, it, it smells like icing on the cake. And um, we all want our icing, of course, in addition to wanting our cake and eating it too. So, speaking of icing, the other thing I'm really eager to try is the Tropical Splash Body Icing. Um, and she raved about the smell of this one in the video too. As you can see, there's some similar ingredients, shea butter, um, this one has pomegranate seed oil, apricot oil, vitamin E, sweet almond oil, um, wheat germ oil, and fragrance in the botanical blend. So we're not really seeing any unnatural ingredients in these. Um, I'm going to see. One second. Okay, so this one didn't come with a seal. I'm thinking the sugar scrub is, is sealed so that it doesn't seep out. Um, but this is a pretty solid texture. I can smell it already. The smell reminds me of something. It reminds me of a shea butter product I've used before. The consistency. You know what? It looks hard, but it's super soft. Um... Oh, that is very velvety. Ooh. Do you see how that just smoothed out? Oh my goodness. Ooh. This is awesome. Put it on my... F oh my goodness, yes. I'm going to enjoy using this one. I might... I, you know what? I'm probably going to use this tonight. Um. Oh, it smells a little bit like my Socialite Essentials. Um body well right now I have the body silk which is um uh, kind of like a silky thick kind of lotion um but she also makes butters whipped butter um it reminds me of one of her scents I think but this is wow the texture and consistency and as you can see I'm starting to get oil inside the box these aren't leaking this is you know I've now got oil on my hand um Oh my goodness, though. I can't wait to try this. I'm, tr like, struggling to put the top back on. There. Well, in the meantime, um... Well, I struggle to get this top back on. There, I think I got it. Um, it's because I'm doing it one-handed. <laughs> what? Here, hold on one second, please. Okay. I don't want to look at the oil spots in the box. All right, so the next one is the Hair Parfait, which, it, this font is so small. Oh, but that, wow, yeah. It's much easier to read through a camera than it is just in regular life. Um, so this can be used on wet or dry hair after using the lemongrass leave-in conditioner, which I'm thinking will seal it in more and give me more of the effect of, like, the thick hair products that I enjoy. Um, a little bit apparently goes a long way. Rub it in your palms, melt it, then apply it directly to hair. Um, to get a smoother look on twisted or braided styles, apply by rubbing hands down hair shaft. Style as usual, safe for color treated hair. So again, we're still seeing those similar ingredients, the shea butter. This is argan oil in it, sweet almond oil, coconut oil, apricot oil, rosemary which is great for hair growth um rosemary leaf extract vitamin e and botanical blend and fragrance here's a texture shot and this smells like a jolly rancher um seems like it settled a bit 
probably in the um it probably melted down because they're in florida it probably melted down in the shipping process and settled and but um that's a good thick te texture my hair really loves shea butter um if i'm wearing it curly shea butter is like is shea butter is even better than gel i love like a good gel with a lot of glycerin in it and i also love shea butter shea butter really gives me a lot of hold like um as far as smoothing the hair, defining the curl pattern, stretching it out even. Um, so I look forward to using this product because it, it has the qualities. I'm going to redo these nails, guys. It has the qualities of um, some products I typically use. So, okay. This is going to be the lemongrass conditioner. I already know what that is. I already had a bottle of it. Um, I wasn't a fan of it the first time, but I think in conjunction with um, the whole product system, maybe because I have very porous hair, so maybe like the moisture levels will be there and this will um, perform better or, you know, be more compatible um, if I use it with all of their products. So, it's the perfect moisture solution for all hair types. It is very lightweight, I must say that. Um, it's not like cheap, cheap lightweight. Like, it's a good consistency, good formula. I just like really thick stuff. Um, penetrates deep into the hair cortex to lock in moisture. Um, it's got socomino protein, aloe vera, lemongrass oil. All right, which reduces shedding. I shed like a cheap dog, so we'll see about that. Um, I don't really remember. I wasn't paying attention to shedding the first time I used their leave-in. So, we'll pay attention to that this time around. This is the co-wash cleanser, conditioning co-wash. Um, so, for those of you who don't like um, traditional shampoos with the sulfates and things, co-washes are good. Um, and... Uh, yeah. Oh, it's got tea tree oil, so that'll be good for the scalp, letting your scalp breathe a little bit. The jojoba oil is emollient, fills in cracks in the hair cuticle. That's cool. Apricot oil softens hair, prevents moisture loss. And the hair tip is detangling your conditioner saturated hair under running water. Helps remove tangles easier. I've done that. I do that sometimes. I detangle under running water. So um, maybe I'll try that this time now that... It's kind of brought it to the forefront of my mind. Um, did they say you can detangle with this conditioner? I mean, I guess. You know what? I'll try detangling with this. Um, formula consistency. Actually, I don't... I just popped it open and I'm kind of smelling it. So this one is sealed too, um, but it's got kind of a subtle, fresh smell to it. Um, all very tropical. All of our products are tropical and inspired by her having grown up in Jamaica. So you're going to get that fresh island scent um, a variety of different ways, whether it's coconut, whether it's lemongrass whether it's with the uh, uh, tropical fruits which I do have a tropical fruit scented product coming up very soon um after this one I guess I'll pull it out so I wanted to try the hair growth oil so my hair actually grows really fast um I wanted to see if it would grow even faster um I also really like rosemary and I think there might be rosemary in this um, but this stuff was like sold out. I could only get the travel size and, um, I just so happened to notice that she had it in this size, but it's all, or I, I don't know about always, but like it was definitely sold out the past few times I've tried to go onto her site and order it before finally placing this order. Um, of course it's got rosemary oil, which is the common ingredient in hair growth products. It's got olive oil, jojoba, sweet almond, tea tree. Again, and, and peppermint also really opening up uh, the pores in your scalp, letting them breathe. Uh, <clears throat> um, horsetail powder, which I've heard of, but I'm not entirely... I don't fully remember what that stuff does, but I feel like I've heard of it. Um, 
uh, in like YouTube hair growth videos. Um, and then there's an essential oil blend and a botanical blend. So you're supposed to shake the bottle well to mix the ingredients, apply the oil directly to the scalp using the applicator, applicator tip. Love an applicator tip for things that um, go directly on your scalp because I've got thick roots. Um, well, thick hair, period, but, you know, it's just easier um, to reach the, the scalp and the roots that way. Deeply massage. And alternate rows that you apply the product to every application uses every other night so this will be interesting the alternate alternating rows um that might be a little more meticulous than i like to get with things like this but i'll just have to be really disciplined i guess and because like oh my god like my hair is really thick and like parting it and applying stuff and then alternating rows like i just yeah um but i get it i think it's so that you can achieve full coverage of the oil and apparently you're not supposed to use it two nights in a row, so it kind of sp you know, spaces things out, I guess. The alternating... Oh, I said I was going to do the fruit product. So, oh, actually we... This is probably going to be... Yeah, this is uh, sealed, the growth oil, so I can't really get... Well, I can try to smell it. Yeah, it's definitely sealed. It actually smells minty, so that's going to be fun, using something nice and invigorating like this. Um... What else do we have going on? Oh, yeah, the um, fruity product. So, Jamaican fruit body scents. I got it in coconut milk. She also has it in pineapple, and I believe... Oh, mango is the other one. So, this is the one I got because I love all things coconut. And I also have some pineapple-y and maybe even some mango-scented stuff from other lines, from other brands. Um, but I don't have anything coconut-scented, so... That is this, um, pretty straightforward. It's a body oil, it's a massage oil if you want it to be. Um, so this is corn oil, coconut oil, sweet almond, apricot, jojoba, vitamin E, and fragrance. Nice blend of oils there. So I got black soap. I've been meaning to order more black soap, but I just never do. I had some black soap down in Atlanta and I forgot to bring it with me. This is a huge bar of black soap, by the way. Um, and uh, this makes me wish I had the price list nearby and I don't. But it was no more than like $7, I think. And this is like a huge brick of black soap. So what she recommended in the video is to cut it in half and use one half for face, one half for body. I'm going to do just that. I don't know if I'm going to use this tonight. Um... Yeah, maybe. Um, and I think she recommended using it only like one or two times a week on your face because it's so strong. Um, so I think I'll work that into my facial routine. As you know, like I, I use skincare lines like um, Estee Lauder is currently my favorite. Um, I had been trying Clinique for a while, but I'm going to go back to the Estee Lauder. I'll just work this black soap into um, my skincare regimen. So... Of course, black soap, real black soap is never black. It's brown. It's made from ash. This is made from coconut husk ash. It's been burned. Um, I think it's from coconut. Cocoa pod powder. And, oh, I'm sorry. So this is from um, dried plantain skins and um, cocoa, po cocoa pod powder um, that's been burned down, I believe, to... Um, you know, to uh, complete the soponification process. I believe that's the word, soponification. Um, so, yes. So, here are the directions. Lather it in your hands. Cleanse your face or your entire body. Rinse off. Use daily. Um, I guess you can use it daily. But this stuff is really strong. Um, or black soap in general. Um, so, I don't know that I'm going to use it every day. Um... And then obviously keep keep up your healthy diet, drink your water, and it's suitable for all skin types. And there are the ingredients. Uh, looks like it's got some cocoa butter in it and some shea butter. So there you go. Ashes of plantain skins, um, cocoa pods, and shea tree bark. There you go. So this is a real black soap. 
there are some imposters out there and she definitely made a point to reference that in her instagram live um and this is we've already done this we just put it back in the box this is the body icing which i'm super excited to use so that is it i will keep you guys posted on how these things are going i may come back and do you know what? i will i'm gonna come back and do um follow-ups on all of these i guess let you know how they're working for me um they were just having an anniversary sale they may still be i'll i'll note it in the comments or in the um you know the um description if they're having a sale right now so that you can take advantage of this but i believe this full order came to like maybe between 60 and 70 dollars um maybe less definitely no more than 70 but i got one two three four five six six items if this feels like more oh no yeah six seven eight i got eight items um and i can't find my um oh here you go here's another pamphlet oh and they do have a guide for what's best for your hair type based on like whatever it is um for me the porosity thing is key i think i'm i have very porous hair and it can drink like half a bottle of gel, half a jar of gel. So here's some of their other products. Um, oh, and I guess it gives you like a method to follow. Well, that's interesting. Oh yeah, cool. I wanted to try her Kirby and Coconut Milk Shampoo. Um, but I went with the co-wash instead. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, just looking at this. It looks like I got something from all the steps. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, be well, stay clean, stay safe, stay organized, and I will talk to you soon. Bye now.